We know that you're lying and those aren't your bikes. These two black guys stealing these fancy bikes from my neighborhood. What the hell is going on here? You two look like you work together. I tell you, Marie, this neighborhood is going to hell in a handbasket. You are not going to believe this. Somebody stole my grandson's radio flyer wagon? Yep, they did right out of my garage. Can you believe that? So, you're going to participate in the uh, charity 50 mile bike ride? Yeah, I think so. Might as well, right? <laughs> it's for a good cause anyway. Yeah, I was, uh, I was thinking the same thing. Besides, I love the ride. For, for me, it's a win-win anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, exactly. Hey, what are you doing after this? Oh, I'm going to go home, take a shower, do some online shopping for my wife. It's been a year since we've been married. Can you believe that? Wow, you've been married for a year already? Man, how time flies. <laughs> yeah, man, time does fly. Hey, I'm going to grab a, uh, a quick coffee. You want one? Yeah, sure, I'll have a coffee. What do you want? You want your usual, the, the Grande, Cafe Grande? You got it. <laughs> hey, watch my bike for me? Sure, I got you, bro. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm going to go over there by the shade. Okay. All right, cool. Well, anyhow, I'm just pulling up to my house, so I'm going to let you... Oh, my God. You are not going to believe what I am seeing. <gasps> it's this black guy with these, walking down the street with these two fancy bicycles. Oh, my God. Listen, I have to let you go. I have to stop him. Okay, bye. Stop! Can I help you? Yes, you can. Where did you get those two bikes? Excuse me? You heard me. What are you doing with those two bikes? Ma'am, me and my friend were just riding our bikes. I'm waiting for him at the coffee shop over there. Oh, of course, I'm sure you are. Ma'am, what's the problem? We all know what the problem is. Come on. <laughs> we know that you're lying and those aren't your bikes. Ma'am, what are you saying? Are you implying that I... Yes, I'm implying that you stole them. I mean, look at you. There's no way in a million years that somebody like you is going to have these fancy bikes. Ma'am, you're being very offensive. I I'm leaving. Oh, no, you're not. Let go. Really? You think you can get away with this? I don't think so. Really, lady? I am not going to let you get away with this, y you thug. Hey, what the hell is going on here? Hey, James, this lady has been harassing me and accusing me of stealing these bikes. And who the hell are you, his accomplice? <laughs> you two look like you work together. Wow. Well, hello there. It's nice to meet you, too. That's it. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Go ahead, call him. Just, I don't know, I was just... Yes, hello, this is Judy Nesmeyer, and I'm calling from the Mango Park condo complex. Can you please send some officers over right away? Yes, this is an emergency. I just caught these two guys, these two black guys, red-handed, stealing these fancy bikes from my neighborhood. Hey. Give me, give me the phone. Why would I do that? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh my God, oh my God, now he's threatening to steal my phone. Please hurry. Lady, give me the phone. Hello? Well, who is this? Hey Maria, it's Captain Porter. <laughs> yeah, you're captain in the flesh. Yeah, let me give you my ID number. It's 3027. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, where this lady thinks that we're stealing our own bicycles. I know, I know, it sounds pretty pathetic. No, 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 I, I, I don't need any assistance. You don't need to send anybody over. <laughs> All right, Maria, I'll see you tomorrow. Are, are you really a police captain? Yes, I am. Captain James Porter, Mango Park Police Department, at your service. I wasn't aware of that. I'm sorry. Hmm. Now, I want you to listen to me very carefully, lady. I'm going to talk to my friend, and I'm going to investigate what happened here today. Then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to talk to you, okay? Okay, I I'm sorry about that, really. Okay. So tell me, what happened? Well, it's pretty simple. She saw me walking these two bikes and assumed that I stole them. She tried to stop me from leaving and that's when you showed up. Mm. Did she threaten you physically in any way? Well, when she pulled up and cut me off, I got nervous at first, but I don't think she was trying to injure me or anything like that. Mm. So basically, typical racist behavior from your typical neighborhood Karen. Yep, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to give her a written warning. Maybe she'll learn her lesson from that. Yeah, I think that's fair. <sighs> well, after talking to my friend, I've decided that you're free to go. Except I'm going to give you a written warning. A written warning? Does that go on my record? Well, yeah, but it's not like you have to pay a fine or go to court or anything like that. It's just a written warning. No, I, I can't accept that. I, I mean, what did I do? Criminal harassment, disturbing the peace. No, 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 no. I have a clean record. I can't have that on my record, a well, warning. Well, ma'am, I am sorry, but that's the best I can do for you today. No. I said no! Oh, I should have known you two would have tried to get me for something. That does it. Ricky, hold my bike. You are under arrest. What? What, what, what for? I tried to be reasonable with you, but I see you like to make things difficult. Ouch, 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 I didn't do anything wrong. I need to call my lawyer. We're going to the station. You can call your lawyer when we get there. No, no, ow, ow, help, you're hurting me. Oh, wait, wait, that's that little red wagon that was stolen from my garage last week. That's your wagon? Yes, it is. Hmm, how convenient. What are you doing? Ow, oh, help, help, help. Stay right there. <sighs> Oh, you are not going to get away with this. Get inside. Ow! <laughs> you said that I was mistreating you. Now you can enjoy your ride to the police station. No, you don't. Oh, come on, Ricky. Uh oh, you're not going to get away with this assault and battery. My lawyer is going to sue you from here to China.